Hey guys, it's Nolan at Roundtree Pottery. Haven't put a throwing demonstration up in a while. <clears throat> Gonna make a conch shell. This is a one pound, a pound and a half. And uh, gonna make a shell, so I'm gonna throw this one, then I'm gonna take one I threw earlier and show you how to sculpt it into a shell. So I'm centering. Working on my Artista Speedball. Which if you wanna get into pottery, <clears throat> it's actually a great starter wheel. But as you will see, it's also not now my production wheel. As my Brent has about 35, 30 years on it, <laughs> so it's a, I'm in need of re replacing that or getting it refurbished. Anyways, great wheel. So I center and I open. You notice I'm not using a splash pan. Just using enough water to get through each stage. At each stage, you want to slow the wheel down maybe five or seven percent. Notice my contact point is perpendicular to the cylinder, thereby minimizing my point of contact, which is really important. The only part touching the clay is right here on the fingertip. Okay. And water, but never throw water at your clay. Add that which is needed. Pull the cylinder. I'm going to start giving it some breath here. Again, this is what I call my conch shell. So in a few minutes you'll see it's starting to look a lot like a seashell. Okay, slow it down. Pushing in. Really narrow that bottom. Clear out. So from here to here, the dominant pressure is on the outside. And then from here to here, the dominant pressure is on the inside. Now I shift back to the dominant pressure on the outside. That's how you shape clay. By varying the pressure. I'm going to begin to close this up on top. So I take the water out of the inside, recycle that here, begin to methodically bring this to a close. So I choke, pull, add a little water. Choke, pull, making very, very little contact with the clay. Choke, look, I'm doing the pull with actually my left thumb. Okay, pour all that moisture. Recycle it, use it again. See, I'm the very, very tip of my thumb is what uh, what's driving the clay up. Now I'm going to come in because I'm going to close this up entirely. I'm not worried about trimming off that irregularity because it's going to come off anyway, like that. Bring this to a point. So you can see how this is going to become a shell. I'm going to slow the wheel down. I'm going to use the curve of my rib, smooth out the bottom portion, keep it over. 
compress. Sometimes you like to leave the finger marks, and sometimes you don't. I want this to be smooth before I add the spiral, and it's smooth enough. These will be done in a Raku copper glaze, copper and crackle combination. So add moisture to where I'm going to give the spiral. It doesn't take much. Use the back end of my needle tool. Starting here, work my way up. finger I'm going to try to give it more of a round internal spiral look and then with my pinky finger I'm going to reinforce that many different ways to give it the spiral you can use a tool or your finger if it happens to have a nice point on it so this guy is essentially done. I'm going to take it off the wheel. And I'm going to take one that I threw earlier. And I'm going to show you how I turn this shape into a conch shell. Okay, let's put this over here. And off the back. one I threw earlier. That's 90% same shape. You'll get the idea. You can vary this any number of ways. I'm going to start right about here where the spiral comes to an end. Get a little over and then I'm going to cut. It's going to look like not a shark fin, more like a marlin. Okay, so this line comes straight down. This line swoops back around. If this clay was a little stiffer, if I let this dry another 30 minutes, it probably would have been easier. Less distortion, but that's okay. I'm gonna add a little cut here. I'm gonna take this form, lay it down like such. If it tears here, that's kind of normal. Just kind of have to expect that. You're going to, you're going to patch that. Because you're really stretching that part of the clay. I'm going to take a little bit of clay from the trim off area. Add it here. Just to reinforce that. I'm going to... Give it the illusion that this is curved in and smoothed out. Just a tiny bit of moisture on the thumb, fingertips. It's usually all you need to erase some of this jaggedness. This is going to be pulled much like you would pull a handle. Compress it, pinch it, gather it together. Again, be sure not to over water. You need water to move the clay, to shape the clay, to smooth the clay, but very often I see people adding way, way more water than they really need. All you need is the water between your finger, between your skin, and the clay. That means you need very little water. And if you learn that, you'll discover that you're, you'll be much cleaner as a craftsman. Maybe you too can throw away your splash pan. shape. Okay. 
you have it. That's my conch shell. It'll be dried in a couple days and I'll fire it in a raku fashion. Copper and crackle. Thank you. This is Nolan, Roundtree Pottery. Check out my other videos. Hit like, hit subscribe, and let's start building and creating more and more clay artists and potters. How about that? How's that sound?